morning you guys welcome back to a week in my life as a flight attendant it is Tuesday and we are starting a three-day trip this morning it's six almost 6 30 now my report time isn't until 7 20 so I did get here a little early but we have started the buses that pick us up and drop the employees off like started this new route today so I was a little nervous I'm like oh and obviously I didn't get my princess drop off today DB has to uh, do something for work this week, so he is traveling later in the week, and he was like, sorry, I can't take you, so he did get to sleep in, but it's fine. It's not horrible driving myself. The worst part, the only reason I love being dropped off is just because it gives me more time to sleep because I always do the early report, and whenever it's the last day of the three day like the last place i want to be is the airport but when i have to wait for the employee bus it's like an additional hour like a whole nother hour of walking to the bus waiting for the bus driving to the employee parking lot and then i have to drive home and then that's like another 40 minutes depending on what time i get home so when he picks me up it's like i just v-line for baggage claim he scoops me up and we go straight home that's the only reason I'm a drama queen and I love princess pick up and drop off. We are excited. No, I'm not that excited. I'm not doing anything crazy. I don't know why I said we're excited. It's going to be a good day at work. I tried something new with my hair today. Am I the only person that does this? Like, why is it so hard for me to take my coffee cups inside? This was from this morning <laughs> and I didn't feel like drinking at all. I was like, okay, and there was no place to put it. So I put it on the floorboard but why can't I take my drinks inside? I only usually do it with coffee. It is almost 3 p.m. We just got to the hotel in Louisiana. We're in Baton Rouge. Let's see the view. Nice. Last time I had a view of the swimming pool. There is a pool here. Oops, my whole bag just fell over. This is honestly annoying because my bag was unzipped. Ugh. So we've already done room checks. I just walked in and checked the bathroom, of course checked under the bed, which a good good rule of thumb is just to kick and most beds in hotels have something under there because you never know who could be hiding. And of course we checked the closet and no one was in there. This is an interesting room. It's pretty cool. Got double beds this time. I think last time I was here, maybe I had one single. I can't remember. TV, desk, cute view of the water, which I kind of want to go out there and go for a walk. It's hot, so, so hot, but it is so pretty. And then we've got this weird space. This is so random. I don't know, like if they just, I don't know what they were thinking. How, like, how weird is this? I feel like they could have made this into a closet or something. Or put a chair over here to like lounge next to the window. I don't know. And then we've got some cool photos of Baton Rouge. And then the cute little bathroom. I like the, it has like these double doors leading into it. Our bathroom changed. I drank a Celsius because I didn't want to fall asleep. It's a few hours now. It is so nice outside. My computer's about to die. My camera was dying. So I was like, I'll take a little break. It's like 5.30 now. So I'm thinking maybe I'll go walk for like 30 minutes, call in some dinner, come back upstairs.
bright out here. My eyes are hurting, I forgot sunglasses. But I wanted, this is so peaceful. I'm surprised there's like no one out here. It's very quiet. A little fun fact about me and DB. So when we first met, he actually lived here in Baton Rouge and we did long distance. So I would come and visit him and I feel very sentimental right now. Just realizing like how fast time flies and we they had like a little art festival one weekend that I was here in downtown and we walked over here and like sat on these steps and I have a picture of DB that I took of him he was so handsome and then a picture that he took of me crazy how it's been like five years that we've been together since all of that happened so I'm having like a moment by myself <laughs> Literally no one's out here and I'm like sitting here like getting teary-eyed. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Little house salad. And so watching Modern Family. Not to gross everyone out. Just found a bug in my salad. So I'm eating some cheese that I brought from home. I also want to share with you guys something new that I got for my layovers. Normally I bring my little crossbody bag and I love that too but I saw someone share this and I thought it was really creative. It's literally a phone case and then you can put all your cards back behind here. So my phone pops in and out so easily. So I usually have it in its regular case and then I just bring this on my, in my suitcase and if I go outside or go somewhere I put my cards and my hotel room key in here my ID, and then go for a cute little walk. There's no better feeling than getting off of a trip and securing food. We just picked up sushi, literally just got back into town. It's like 4 p.m. now. My trip ended about 2.30, we were a little delayed, but I had to get sushi. This is becoming a common thing. Like we have this cute little sushi place here in town and DB has been, we've both been so busy the past few weeks and he's like been out of town when I get home from a trip and I just I'm too tired to cook this is the second time in the past two weeks that I've done this after work and I feel like it's gonna become a thing because <laughs> it's just so good I don't feel crazy full after I eat it and then I shower get cozy on the couch it's like the perfect little treat We are taking it easy today. Happy Friday. I am, I honestly keep thinking that it's Saturday. I've told myself multiple times, I'm like, dang, I've only got one more day until I have to go back to work. And then I'm like, wait, it's Friday. So I'm very excited. So the last two days have been exhausting. My second day on the trip, we had a four leg day 
and the last leg of the day was flying to Canada, which is like two hours. We went to Montreal and the process of just getting to the hotel is so frustrating, <laughs> I guess. Not in like a bad way. It's just because you're so tired. We've already had four legs and you have to go through so many steps just to get to your taxi driver. And then once you get in the taxi, the hotel is so far away from the airport and we only had, we had a very short layover. That was, I like didn't, I don't even know if I filmed anything. I honestly can't remember. It was a long day and I had really annoying passengers that were super rude and ugly to me in first class. I was working a position and that just put a damper on the whole day. I was already tired and they like yelled at me for things that were not in my control, that were not my fault. And they were just kind of obnoxious. So that was a little frustrating. The next morning was a three leg day. It was a pretty easy day. We came from Montreal to Atlanta and then we did a Jackson turn, which was super easy and cute. And I got home and I'm so thankful to be home. I passed out immediately last night. Me and Mabby snuggled, which was so nice. I didn't wake up till like 8.30 this morning and I had an eye appointment, which Hallelujah, I've got more contacts, I've been out. And it's been a full week. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I love you guys so much, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week in my life. I'm gonna try to make another one for you guys next week because it's supposed to be a hectic week. It's like five days of flying and that should be interesting to see how I handle that. And it's also like trips that I don't normally do. Like I think I have, unless someone picks it up, I have an all-nighter and I'm not used to all-nighters. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on other social media channels if you'd like. I am more active on Instagram. I love to post on my stories more and so you can kind of see behind the scenes of throughout the day when I am flying. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Bye.